Hey guys, it's Raven Tactical here. Sorry if there's a bit of road noise with this. I'm making this impromptu video at the last minute. Um, it is getting late. It is 6 o'clock. It is pitch dark in Wisconsin. So it looks like it's 9 o'clock at night. There's nothing to see. I'm driving home from work. Um, so you don't have to see my face. What's going on right now, right? Everybody's big thing. Everybody's concerned, right? If you think doom and gloom is what this is about and you don't like the doom and gloom, you don't like things that are portrayed in the truth, maybe this will hit you very well. Maybe you'll uh, not enjoy this. The reality right now, we're sitting at what I kind of thought would happen was the chaos. Here's the chaos. Our country no longer is a republic. Our country is slipping and has slipped into basically what third world countries like socialist Venezuela and Russia do, where the election and voting doesn't matter. You basically, the guy that's running, like let's take Putin for example, you can run against Putin and you will never win. He has 80% of the votes five days before the election even votes. You will also probably more likely get poisoned and they'll be tampered with. So you're sitting here going, well, what are we supposed to do, right? We're all well aware of what the election's come results are and we're working towards it, right? Everybody's kind of in this limbo state trying to figure out what's the next move. Well, I think, cool, you know, if he's going to do the lawsuit or sue, more power to him. The reality is, I don't think any of it's going to matter. If Trump wins by a slim margin, right, what's the result? The result is this. The other side will never accept it. They'll go to court. They'll sit there and fight everything. And they'll continue rioting and burning and doing the cities. If Trump loses, steps down, the states basically fold on him, you have basically lost the entire state or country, and it's no longer a republic. We are a socialist democracy, and you're going to see the end results of what happens when the other side cheats to win. And I do say they cheated to win. The massive amount of voter fraud is sickening. I was really concerned that I didn't think they were going to try to push this hard. I thought they were going to push for more of a Trump win because they want to basically have a target on the White House. They want to have someone that the left can focus on and spew all their hate and still riot and do all these things. But no, they actually flipped the program with this whole stealing the election. We're done as a country right now. I'm sorry, the America that you knew in... Uh, Let's say October is over. Like it's officially over. Until the voting thing gets settled, I'm not sure what to tell you. I don't know which way it's gonna go. I think right now your best bet is I hope they fight for it. I hope they win for the sake of the country, but I don't think the results are gonna matter. Um, I think maybe for the conservative side or libertarian side, a Trump victory might delay some things uh, but as far as I'm understanding I don't see it I, I see basically um, how would I put it I don't think they're going to want or let Trump even win I think they're not going to let Trump I, I think they're going to try to take someone out you know they have this uh, Trump said it himself a couple months prior of how he had made severe enemies with the elites and he made severe enemies by reducing the pharma costs. So like these elites, these very wealthy people who are in charge of a lot of things were very upset that he cut pharma costs, right? So he said, like, I might have to start going into hiding a little bit or I'm not gonna be in public because I did some things like this and I made things better and they're not happy. So these top shelf people here, I don't know if they would let him continue. What can you do though, right? So what are our options? Well, if you're already not prepping now, you're probably too late to the game, but I'm never gonna tell you to not do it, right? That's not the whole point of this channel. The whole point of this channel is to encourage you to go forward and do it. Whatever you can at this point, I'm gonna tell you that you need to 
stock up. And you know what? Start out small. Start out the one-on-one level of prepping and work your way up. You are short on time. You are behind the eight ball. You don't necessarily have years to prep. You have months. Um, the result of what's going to happen if, with a Biden victory, which I think is more than likely it's going to happen, is the same thing that happened in Venezuela, is you're going to see the next four or ten years just completely transform into one thing. The middle class will disappear completely. You will see the elites become the elites, and the poor become the poor. The poor that are poor now will become poverty poor, and the middle class will become the poor. Um, all your land, like all the people like us who live in farmland, will be pushed into the cities because, or pushed into basically living into town because we won't be able to afford our homesteads. We won't be able to afford the taxes and everything else because why? The elites want it. The elites are going to turn everything into their little miniature world and their thing. And they don't want to be around you. They'll build their wall. Uh, gun control? Well, gun control is going to come at a rapid pace versus a slow pace. Do I think they're going to go door-to-door -door gun confiscation? Uh, that's a whole different story and a different program, but when you have a majority of people who think it's okay to throw a tax and a registration fee on people who own AR-15s and magazines and we have to know where they are and all this stuff, yeah, I do have a problem with that. Um, but that's going to come. And the sad thing is the people that are going to enforce it are going to be the law enforcement officers, you know. They're, I don't, you know, I'm going to assume some will look the other way, some will take it and do their job, unfortunately, right? So, I think it's possible to see that the gun culture in America is going to die because the majority of people don't have a range at their house. And what happens when you do shoot at your house now? Your neighbor who hates you or a liberal neighbor or someone who's a Biden supporter goes, sure sounds like they have semi-automatic fire over there and I saw them with some guns. Or the real truth is all private or public gun ranges won't allow it. Who's going to come with a felony uh, firearm unless you're a wealthy elite who has paid all your tax stamps and all the things and everything else, right? You'll see a division in that. People are going to go into hiding with it. I think you'll see finally the rise of patriots again. You know, the Sunshine Patriots are going to rise up again because this is what they do when they have some, you know, a Democrat in office. The Sunshine Patriots will tell you how they're going to train and they're going to do all these things. And the reality is they're going to make Facebook militia groups and then fight about how, you know, they don't have the right gear and then disappear. Um, as far as prepping goes, I think you got to focus on the 101 if you're beyond that stage and you're more into maybe, let's say, you know, pushing to a year's worth of food, keep going. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Food is gold, ammo is gold, guns are gold. Um, clothes, buy clothes, buy as much as you can. Go to the uh, Goodwill stores or whatever you want to call them and just get a couple bags of clothes. Um, there's going to be a lot of things that are expensive. And if things get shut down because Biden's whole policy on defeating the coronavirus might be federal-wide shutdown of everything, you might see manufacturing issues with everything. So, understand that, you know? It's not the reality that I want to live in, and it's unfortunate. So, I'm sorry for the long-winded rant, and I'm hoping to keep it under 10 minutes. Um, let me know what you like, the comments. Please subscribe and share. Thank you.